how do they begin to put the map together? Sure, if you're if you're just joining us and you don't know how we've gotten where we've gotten. Um, so let me do this. I'll do you one better. Tuesday. We're gonna have a history lesson, chat. So if you if you don't know what we've been doing, I'm gonna catch you up as, as easily as I can. Tuesday. A new quest dropped when you visited Osiris. Uh, it was this quest. Exploring the Corridors of Time. Uh, if you've been playing Destiny recently, you know that we were able to use the Corridors of Time to do a couple story missions and save Saint-14. Uh, all the pathways minus where to find Saint were blocked off. That was that. Now, we have access to any door we want in any sequence. Fuck. On the same day, we went from uh, having the obelisks in the four areas of the game showing a singular symbol across all seven specific spots of the obelisk, which I'm about to show you, to showing different things. The funny thing about this is before this even came out, I made a tweet because one of the press kit images had this sort of symbol on it. And I made the joke being like, Fuck, here we go again. If only I knew. Um, when the game launched properly uh, with Season of Dawn, these obelisks did not have this. So I was like, oh, I guess that was just like some, you know, proof of concept thing. It didn't make into the game. And then Tuesday, fuck, uh, this starts happening. So we have the quest from Osiris, right? Where we can enter the corridors and we have these. The corridors have these symbols. There's new symbols on the obelisks. Okay, they must be related, right? So we start kind of tinkering along with this, uh, figuring out what can we do with these images or, you know, with, with these symbols inside the corridor of time to get something. So we started messing around. Uh, we noticed that the middle and the top symbol are sunk in. So our first inclination uh, was to do the top symbols first in the order where they're attached. So for this one, we would have gone diamond plus snake, which I cannot get over how it looks like the word up, by the way. Uh, hexagon, hexagon, diamond plus. So we would then go to the corridor of time as I'm getting shot in the ass. Uh, and then walk through the doors with those symbols in that order. Uh, when we do that, it would then give us one of these smaller symbols. So I'm gonna show you this. Well, actually, there's a better one. There's a much better one that I could probably use for this. Uh, yeah, this guy. So this is a picture of all of the different codes on all the obelisks. Each time we got one of these obelisks and we did them in that order, we got to a tomb with a ghost and a sword on top of it with a vanguard placard on the front. That's all that was there. When you get close to it, it teleports you away from it. You can't ever get close to it. I'll give that in a little bit. That's important. Uh, and when you typed in that code, it then gave you uh, an image like this one, a really big one on the floor, which you've seen that look like... Welcome. This, where big emblem, different stuff on the side with holes on the corners, and then the corners also lead to kind of like what I would say is uh, fractured hexagons connected to each other. Uh, imagine this like a puzzle piece, where the puzzle piece has six sides with different female and male edges that can hook onto other things. When we did all 19 of these codes, and then attached those images together based on the corners where, you know, the, the edges of the jigsaw puzzle, we got this. This was the final image that used all of the obelisk pieces. Correct? You still with me? I'm hoping so. Um, and then we started doing uh, some experimentation alongside the, the, the main big picture edges to where what if it was like doorways or rooms themselves that are like, you can't go this way, or this is the incorrect way because it's a dead end. It's got all those corners, right? So when we do that, 
Uh, we are left with... If we remove the ones with dead ends, we are left with this. With just these images. Um, my eraser tool. Where are you at? I'm bad. I'm dumb. Here we go. We are left with this. To which then, we're like, okay. Uh, we can't go this way, so let's go down. Over this way. Over this way. And then follow that pathway until we hit here. So, if you hit all those symbols in that order, diamond, clover, snake, plus, hex, hex, plus, hex, diamond, clover, snake. In that order, you then arrive in the tomb again. And when you interact with the floor to give you the symbol, you get an emblem, and you also get a bunch of weird, crazy shit. It starts spinning out images again. And every image is different over and 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 over. To which, then we said, fuck. And so we applied the same principle of using the edges of the puzzle pieces to make a new map. And that's where we are.